let's start this by talking about the robot. Yeah. Um, so there's a there's a guy inside, right? When you guys are doing this. Yeah. So what's it like though interacting with it? Because you know you forget this. There's a guy in there because it looks it's so realistic. I mean, it's a dream come true. I grew up loving the Iron Giant. I think my dad got his CD of it when a DVD when it when I was like five years old, and we watched it like every day for like the next three years. I, I love it so much. So being able to act and have that relationship was a dream come true for me. Mm -hmm. um, but also having someone in the suit, he's such an amazing actor, he works so hard, and there are so many pieces and there's so much CGI that goes into it. You know, it honestly feels like you are talking and acting off of a robot. Yeah, and you got to do a lot of interaction with the robot too on the show. I did, and it was always this feeling of, it's a little scary, even in, in person. I mean, it's, it's like seven feet tall. I'm a relatively small human. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and it was a lot, it was a learning process to get to react to something that can't really show emotion, that can't really respond back in that way. But at the same time, being uncomfortable in those situations is what makes it a part of the characters, what makes it a part of the family. Um, and so I, I would actually have to say that kind of love-hate, fear relationship was definitely prevalent in real life. It keeps, it keeps you on your toes. Which, which was scarier then, um, the chicken or the robot? I mean the chicken. <laughs> She'd peck your eyeballs out. The chicken, she's, Debbie, who the real chicken's name is Kiki, Kiki. she's an incredibly method actress. Um, yes. She's so serious mm. and she's very involved in her craft. She can, she's very intimidating. Funny story, because we had a Kiki on set, so they would say, can you bring Kiki up? And they would bring the actress up. And then we'd you know, be like, no, no. no, we meant the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> the chicken. Um, have they talked at all about maybe bringing the chicken into season two, or more chickens? Or I mean, I hope. Other chickens? I, fingers crossed. I want yeah. to pet chicken, just have it like rest on my shoulders, like, hello. Yeah. This is Robot the Chicken. Definitely. I mean, I mean the original got a bloop. We have a chicken. I think it's only right to fully incorporate the chicken yeah. in the story. It's a, it's a standing member of the cast. Oh, yeah. Did you guys go down Google wormholes trying to understand some of the terminology that they're saying on the show? I did a, a couple of them. Um, yeah. And by the end of it, I was like, I, can someone please explain? <laughs> I just want to understand what's going on. So look it up and it's just like, then at least another website, another website. Yep. And it's like, what is going on? Me and the writers, mm -hmm. we are humongous nerds. Um, so I kind of knew like uh, what most of this stuff meant. I love science, uh, genetics, I love astronomy, I love geology, anything of the sort. I mean, that's my go-to. He's a lot better at the STEM subjects yeah. <laughs> than I am. Definitely more literature and books. <laughs> she like speaks like four languages, so. Uh, yeah, that's fair. We'll, ba we'll balance it out, we'll balance it out. No yeah. science though. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, uh, have you had like a favorite fan interaction since the show came out where maybe somebody came up to you and just said something really cool about the show and it just made your day? I think I always love knowing that it hits families as a whole, knowing that families are watching it and um, little kids can look up to the characters that we put so much love into. I know especially Penny who's going through a time of balancing this idea of who she is and who she wants to be and finding her place in in a family and in a situation that sometimes she feels a little bit of like an outsider. Uh, and knowing that little girls and little boys can look up to that and, and see that growth in her means absolutely the world. I know, shooting down her ex-boyfriend. Fun scene. I mean, for real. If anybody needs a little confidence booster. <laughs> My favorite fan interaction is, I was, I was walking down the street um, and this, I think it was like a 10-year-old kid walks up to me and him and his dad walk up and he says, um, Max, I I wanted to say thank you, and I'm like, why are you saying thank you? But thank you. And <laughs> yeah. He says, you really inspired me to be myself and not be afraid to, um, because Will Robinson, he's very, uh, he hides a lot of his feelings, but he, in the end he grows up and lets those feelings go and he becomes braver. Yeah. Um, so having that kid walk up to me and say, you know, thank you for inspiring me to be myself and it really made me feel like I was doing something meaningful mm -hmm. to Aww. people. That's really nice. That's really nice. Sweet.